Hey, my name is Nick Valetsky with the USU Extension Integrated Pest Management Program. Let's talk about grasshoppers and what they love to eat. Grasshopper densities are primarily influenced by weather. In Utah and throughout the Intermountain West, the climatic conditions of 2023 have had an effect on grasshopper populations. We're seeing a big spike in their numbers this year, but other years we may see a lot less. Grasshoppers spend the winter as eggs in the soil and are unaffected by cold air temperatures. But as snowpack like this past winter provides insulation against drying out and the colder soils allow for a higher number of eggs to survive and hatch. In Utah, we acknowledge four species that tend to cause the most damage to our agricultural and landscape plants. These are the differential grasshopper, two-stripe grasshopper, red leg grasshopper, and migratory grasshopper. Grasshoppers have chewy mouth parts that tear away plant tissue, just like we see with this Brussels sprout here. Um, they are commonly thought of as foliage feeders, but will also feed on the flowers, fruits, seed heads, stems, and essentially all above ground parts of the plant. Often fence rows and roadsides adjacent to our crops serve as a major source for grasshoppers. As this vegetation dries up in such areas, the grasshoppers that have hatched and matured will move from there over to our adjacent crops. Because Utah has so many specific species and those specific species have a wide range of hosts, it's difficult to pinpoint specific plants that may or may not be desirable hosts for grasshoppers. At this farm with a lot of vegetable crops, we're seeing a lot of variability of what the grasshoppers are liking to eat, like our brassicas, potatoes, tomatillos, and of course all the weed species, but then there's other plants that they seem to leave alone, like our cucurbits, tomatoes, and some of our beneficial flowers. To manage grasshoppers, it's gonna take a lot of different methods and a lot of different strategies based on what you're growing, the size of space you have, and overall, you just wanna use an integrated pest management approach. Check out our other videos on more specific grasshopper management techniques along with all our fact sheets and other resources on extension.usu.edu pest.